Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to actually create a little folder um, on screen. So hopefully this will work okay. Um, I'm going, I saw this on YouTube by, um, on a channel called Pink Strawberries. So I'm going to put a link to her video below if you want to check that out. And I'm going to use this Denise Bodie designs it's from her my dream storybook or sorry daydream storybook range and this paper is called dreams so you need one sheet of pattern paper for this you can use single sided or double sided I'm going to use double sided that way I'll get um, pattern on both inside and outside of my little folder so to start with we need to cut uh, two pieces that are 6 inches by 12 inches. <coughs> so you can get this from one sheet of paper or you can use different sheets of paper if you would like. Then we're going to score this. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to score at um, 5 inches and 10 inches. And we're going to do this uh, for both pieces of the same and then turn it on the side and score at one and a half inches. That's going to be the bottom. So if there's a right side and a wrong side or an up and a down to your paper, make sure this is one and a half inches up from the bottom. So with this one, once again, we're going to score at five inches and ten inches. Turn it to the narrow side and score at one and a half inches so that the one and a half inches is up from the bottom. So we've got two pieces exactly the same. We can choose either front or back. So now the piece, this small piece here, I might be able to see it easier here, I'm not sure, but see how that We've got this one and a half inch score up from the bottom. We've got a five inch section, a five inch section, and then this two inch section. We're going to cut that section out. So cut up there and along there. So we've got that. Then we're going to cut up on this score line here. I don't know whether it's easier to see one side or the other. So we're going to cut up there to that one and a half inch score line. Then we're just going to take a little angle out there and a little angle out here. take just a little bit off of this one as well okay so we're going to do that for both pieces so once again cut this piece out I'm going to cut that straight up on an angle the first time this time and this one just goes across the score line and then this one we're going to cut Slight angle up. Might be better to use your slightly longer scissors for this. And then also up on that one. So now it's time to decide which you want for your inside and which you want for your outside. So I think I'm going to have that for my outside, the movie colour. So fold these up this way <coughs> burnish your folds and here I'm going to corner round those sections so I'm going to put a little corner around there And if 
hold that piece in. Make sure we've got that nice and level. Burnish that. So you could just make a single one if you wanted to. Have a couple of pockets here. And then that would close over there like so. But we're going to do the same for this one. So I will do my corner rounding here. Do my folds. Then we've got our two folder sections, two sections. Now you need to decide which one you want for the front. I think I'm going to have that for my front. So now we are going to attach the two together. So this one now gets attached to this here. So all we have to do is add a little bit of blue along here. side again and then pushing that there hold that out make sure that we've got it lined up nicely <coughs> burnish that down and so now we've got our folder assembled now so we've got that. So that's not going to be my front, that's going to be my front. So now, so that we've got a little bit more playroom here, line that edge up anywhere on your um, scoreboard and then score a quarter of an inch along that and then fold that and then you'll see that you've got a bit more room there see how you've got that room there now so there we have our little folder so to finish those pockets off we're going to just run you can leave this edge open if you want to, but um, I'm going to seal it up, a little bit of blue along each edge, and score that down, <coughs> now we've got this piece is open, and then <coughs> this piece, with glue down each edge, And do the same for this one. So we're going to run a little bead of glue along each one of these edges. And just burnish those down. And if we've got any overflow of glue, just wipe that away. Same on this piece. Finish that. So you can see now we've got a bit of room to move in our little folder, and that opens out, 
that opens out. We've got a little pocket here. We've got a pocket here. We've got a pocket here. Then we open that over. We've got a pocket there. And we've got a pocket here. And then this will be our front. Now there's several different ways you can um, close your little pocket or little booklet, album. You can... Um, Use like a magnet and a velcro drop, a velcro dot, either one of those. If you use a magnet, of course, you've got to put something over it, cover it up. Um, I think that I'm going to just put an eyelet here and then run some ribbon around it. Okay, so I'm going to put this eyelet in here. So I'm going to just um, use my eye to gauge halfway so about well, maybe about there may not be perfect but it will be okay then I'm going to put this on here make sure I've got it up the right way and put Now we've got our little eyelet on and I'm going to use this ribbon to run around a couple of times so uh, I want to wrap it around a few times so let's say about that much we can always trim it down afterwards Um, I'm going to fold it in halves and then feed it through my eyelet that way. Probably going to need my tweezers to get that. Pull that through. Then thread. one side longer than the other maybe like that and then thread that through there so that's our closure now this longer piece I'll wrap around there and then tie it with this piece here. I really do need that longer piece to be a little bit longer. I'll have to undo this, feed it through a bit. That's much better. And then I can tie a bow here. There. So, there we have it closed. Easy to open. Open that out. And there we have our little folder. Now I'm going to decorate that, but I'm going to do that um, offline and I'll come back to you when I have it all decorated and I'll do a flip through of it then. But I just wanted to show you how it was created. I thought it was a, a great idea um, when I saw it on YouTube. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back shortly when it's all decorated. Now I thought I'd make an envelope to go in my little folder. So I've, I'm using a piece of the Le Jardin Romantic um, Denise Bodie paper for this. They All of her paper ranges go so well together. Now I have to start with a 6.5 by 6.5 inch piece of cardstock. 
and um, I have to start at three and one eighth inches. So I position this at three and one eighth. Push down on the punch, which puts a little nick in there, and then slide my bone folder along the crease. Then I move it around so that this fold, or where I've just scored, lines up with this pointer. And sometimes it can be a bit tricky to see. Perhaps I should be using the other, the other edge. There we go. A bit easier to see. So now I've got that lined up there, I can punch down and score down there. Rotate, do the same thing all the way around. And again. Sorry about my voice, I'm, I'm just getting over COVID and uh, I am having a little bit of trouble with my and carrying on so I hope you don't mind and you can bear with me with that. Now I'm going to use the corner round section on each one of those pointy bits on the envelope. So that's it for the scoreboard. Now we can fold our pieces in and burnish them as we go. Good thing about using a double sided pattern paper is that you get a nice inside to your envelope as well as an outside. So there's the front of our envelope. Now we can decide um, whether we which way we want it to open. Do we want it to open like that or do we want it to open like that? What's the difference? Uh, that is uh, 4 and 3 sixteenths and that is 4. So there's not much difference, it's uh, just about square. So let's say, I think we might have it like that. So, I don't want it like that. We might have that. I think we'll have that as the top flap so we just take these two put the little I usually just put a little dot of blue there under there so join those two together if they meet they don't always meet depends on the size of the envelope you're creating run those along there and fold them up if you want to the other way you can do that of course is you can run your glue along here and that gives you a stick closer to the edge here. Whereas if you run it along there, it, that's a bit loose along there sometimes. So it just depends what you prefer. And I just like to run my tool along in there to make sure that it's not sticking to anything. And there we have a little envelope that we can put in our little booklet. I thought I might pop that in there, for example. We might poke it in that way. No, we won't. We put it in that way. So that can sit in there like so, and then we can take that out and put something in it when we when we want to. Okay, so that's um, how I create an envelope. So I've finished decorating my little pocket now. So that's what it looks like from the top. It's a bit bulky, as you can see. There's a lot in there. Um, I could put more but we've got to stop somewhere so let's have a look what's in there so on the front I've uh, made a little pocket this is a die that I've got so I've cut that out in the die I've got a little envelope I made that the same way as the envelope that I showed you on just a minute ago that fits in there and then I've just decorated that and down the front here with a little handmade flower. I actually used um, this die 
to make the flower. It's from Craft Barn. And the, I've cut some tickets from the pattern paper. That came, I used this die to do that. So that's my front. And I've just got a little bit of uh, cheesecloth in there. And some little leaves. That uh, Those leaves are using this die here. And I've used those uh, flowers and leaves throughout this book or this little folder. So I haven't done much on this page because I really like this pattern paper here. So I've left that basically plain. You could put um, a photo or whatever there. I've made these hidden um, paper clips. This one's got a little bit of uh, overall lace there, a die cut heart. This I uh, fussy cut from the pattern paper. This is from the uh, Le Jardin uh, paper range, I think, by Denise Bodie. And on the back, I've done the same thing. I've got some of that fussy cut lace. I mean, some of that um, all over lace and just a couple of uh, flowers cut from that pattern paper. And they that just slides in like so. Right, in this first pocket, I've got a little envelope that I created. You can see I've run that through the um, Big Shot with an embossing folder. And then I've just wiped over it with a black ink pad. And inside I've just put a little piece of pattern paper and um, can be written on or whatever. That goes there. I haven't decorated anything along the bottoms here because um, I like the pattern paper there. And there's plenty going on up here for that. Now this is a piece of chipboard. Um, it came from this kit here. Um, doesn't seem to have a name on it but it uh, fits inside of that. So I've just backed that with a piece of pattern paper and on the back I've just tucked in a couple of little tickets that I've cut with that thing. This is uh, the circle I fussy cut from the pattern paper and that also was fussy cut from the pattern paper. Here um, I've just a ticket and some leaves and another little flower. I've put a little drop of um, this in the centre of each of the flowers, it's Nouveau Drops and it's Morning Dew. So basically it just dries clear and um, adds some shine to the flower. I've also cut a um, tag, just a rectangle of card, cut the corners off, put a little eyelet in it and then put some crochet cotton in there. So those two fit there. Now over here next I've got a, a fussy cut uh, leaves from the pattern paper, this is from the Le Jardin range and here I've just, uh, another one of those, I've just made some of those flowers from an assortment of the pattern papers. Here I've just put a little couple of tickets in there and we've got another envelope, you can see I've done the same thing with that, I've run that through the um, embossing folder and um, there's nothing in that one can put some photos in there. I think this is about four inches square so you could fit a few photos in that. And that just goes in there and that just little tuck things there. Here um, we've got a tag. I haven't put this one through the embossing folder and I just left this one nice and plain. I really like that flower on there so I thought I'd just leave that is as is and here I've just made a little notepad and um, I've just folded some pattern, pa uh, some pattern paper over cut some uh, white paper to the size of that and then added a bit of decoration on the top here I've got some cheesecloth a ticket and a little bit of fussy cut leaf here I've got another one of those um, hidden paper clips so I've just got the top, a smaller flower and a bit of cheesecloth and a bit of fussy cut leaf and the same on the back of that. I've used the burgundy coloured paper from um, that pattern range. This one is a, just a tag that I have also run through um, an embossing folder. Both of these embossing folders that I've used are 3D embossing folders and then just to help that pattern stand out a little I've just wiped over it lightly with my black ink cube. So that goes over there. And that's it. So 
There we have uh, my little project. Um, quite a handy little folder. You could put lots of photos and things like that. You can put photos in there, you can journal on paper and put it inside the envelopes, whatever you like to do. And then to, as I said, to seal it up, to close it off, you just tie it up with this piece of ribbon. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this um, little project. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. That's always very, very helpful. So yes, thanks once again and I hope you can join me when I post my next video.